What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we've got another Dumont fragrance that was sent to me by the good folks at Perfume Box. Shout outs to Perfume Box. Definitely check them out in the link below. They have really stormed onto the scene. You can get stuff all across the board, not just from Dumont, but they have affordable stuff, Middle Eastern stuff, niche. They got a little bit of everything. Great place to shop for sure. And there's also a little extra discount code below as well. But they sent me a lot of stuff from Dumont recently. Dumont's the hot ticket in town right now when it comes to affordable fragrances, kind of inspired fragrances with a twist. And that's no different here. Today, we're talking about Solario Epic. So Solario Epic is very much in the same vein as Angel Share, but it does have some differences, which we're going to discuss here in just a moment. So stay tuned. So I have the notes on screen for you guys, but I'll keep it very simple. It smells like angel share, but fruitier. That's the big difference here. It's very spicy. It's sweet, but it's more fruity sweet than anything else. Very, very like fiery hot spiced, dries into a creamier sweetness. But at the end of the day, it's unmistakable. It smells like angel share. And if you have a bunch of fragrances that smell like angel share, you don't need this. It's redundant at that point. But if you don't, this is better to me than fragrances like Latafa's Kamra, which is super sweet, beast fragrance, beautiful. I prefer Kamra Kawa over Kamra. That's got coffee that gives it more of a twist and more character, more depth. If you want something similar to Angel Share, this is one of the better ones I've tried. I don't truly think there's one best one. It comes down to taste because most of them have their own little twist. And here it's got, it's like a spicy fruit twist. Don't be wrong, Angel Share has a nice dose of cinnamon spice to it, but here, when you add these, this heavy fruity nuance to it for the main sweetness, it does make it a bit more interesting. It's just as boozy as Angel Share. The cognac here is very prominent, very present. It's very warm and ambery. It's a smooth fragrance. It's not real rough around the edges. It doesn't smell super synthetic to me. I gotta say this Solario line seems to be a little bit higher quality raw materials used versus the Nitro line. Uh, they are a little bit more expensive. These are in the $50 range versus the low 30s for the Nitro line. So that $20 difference, I smell that $20 difference. It's only $20, but I do smell a quality difference here. So it's something to consider. You do get a nicer quality build to the bottle. And the scent profile here is lovely. Again, super redundant if you have a bunch of fragrances that smell like this. But if you don't have fragrances that smell of Angel Share's DNA, this is definitely one of the three best ones I've ever tried. Now, performance. They're never lacking. I got to give Dumont their due. They're never lacking in performance. I have now reviewed seven or eight fragrances. I think eight fragrances from Dumont across two different lines at this point. Not one of them has not been a beast. That's the same thing here. This is another beast. This one's 10 to 12 hours easy on my skin. Projection is heavy, moderate to heavy, bordering the heavy side. I only did three sprays in yesterday's wearing. I've only been doing one spray test sprays leading up to that wearing because it's really strong. It is really strong. And the biggest strength here is in the sillage. So yes, it projects pretty heavy, but the sillage is on the you know moderate to heavy side. Not too often I come across a moderate to heavy one. So this is a bona fide beast on my skin. Uh, this one's gonna linger. This one's gonna follow you around. This one's gonna grab people. Even if they don't say anything, they smell you. Not everybody's compelled to talk to you about your fragrance. You're not always gonna get a compliment. There's no guarantees at any time, but people are gonna smell you with this. And if that is part of your goal, mission accomplished. It's a beast. Final thoughts on Solario Epic from Dumont. I think it's one of the, like I said, a minute ago. Top three angel share twists that I've ever smelled easily. The quality here is very, very high um, for what it is, especially in the, in the price range. Performance is maybe a little too much, honestly. A lot of you would argue that down because everybody wants you know people's faces to melt because the fragrance is so strong. Um, I get it. People want ridiculous beast. 
I don't always need this level of performance. That's why I had to dial back the sprays a bit because this stuff's strong. But that also helps raise its overall score because it is a straight up beast. With that said, I don't quite want to put it in the outstanding territory, but it's, it's about as close as it gets with a great rating at 8.75 out of 10. This is fan-damn-tastic. Bit more situational because I think it's very much a cool weather fragrance. It's been kind of pushing it, wearing it the last few days because it is pretty warm. I mean, I'm wearing this hoodie because I'm about to go sweat at the gym. It's intentional. I always wear a hoodie to the gym, uh, but I don't leave it on the entire time. So that's why I'm wearing a hoodie. I do mention how it's hot outside while wearing a hoodie, but there's a reason for that. So I would highly encourage checking this out if you're interested in one of the better angel share twists out there. Thank you.